Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing freshman advice. Um, I liked watching this, like it helped me out a little bit, I guess. Um, when I was an eighth grader, um, I used to be really scared for high school. Um, so I would go on, you know, YouTube, search up freshman advice, and I came across videos like these. So I decided, why not post what I like to watch or like what I liked to watch, you know? I'm gonna go by eighth grade me and what I was like scared about and stuff, you know? But before we get straight on to video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on your post notifications so you get notified when I post a new video. And yeah, without further ado, let's get straight on into the video. So, I remember being scared, like, if I was going to have friends or not, okay? Don't be afraid to make new friends. I was scared to go to another high school different from my friends. Don't be scared, okay? You're going to make new friends either way. Whether... You go to this school, that school, that school. I was scared of the fact that I'm going to a whole different school. My friends, my best friend was not going to be with me. Who was I going to talk to, right? But I get to the school and in literally less than a week, I made friends, okay? Um, and I'm fine now, okay? So don't be afraid to make new friends. Don't hang out with the wrong crowd. Don't hang out with the wrong crowd. Okay. In high school, there's drooling, there's smoking, there's all types of drugs. There's edibles. Um, there's all sorts of things. By hanging out with the wrong crowd, you're going to get yourself in big trouble. Um, whether it be going to the office, going to jail, or juvie, whatever. But you will get yourself into big trouble. Okay? So, just don't hang out with the wrong crowd. The moment they make you do something, um, just cut them off. Because you don't want a toxic friendship, something that's going to you know put you in big trouble you want to go for the friends that strive you to do your very best they help you accomplish your goals you don't want to go for the friends that have you heard of the crab effect if not it's basically crabs in a bucket and one crab is trying to escape and the other crabs are pulling them down okay don't go for those type of friends okay because those friends are toxic <laughs> Should you be scared about upperclassmen? I remember that was a big thing I was scared of. Like, oh my god, I'm gonna be in a big old school with seniors, juniors, sophomores. Okay, but don't be scared. If you don't do any harm to them, they will more than likely not do any harm to you. Don't try to be that cool kid. Hey, you wanna fight? You know, no, like, that's childish. Come on. Um, don't pick fights, you know, don't, hey, you want to fight? You know, no. Um, don't go running your mouth around because, honey, that isn't to get someone to come and bite you. Just don't be scared of them. They're like the best people you will ever meet, okay? Talk to them, okay? <laughs> bullies in a big high school there will be bullies they will pick on you for the clothes you wear because sadly that is our type of generation now the type of clothes you wear the size you are anything they will pick on you but don't let them get to you okay don't let them get to you because if you let them get to you they're gonna see that they are hurting you and they're gonna keep going at you. 
They're gonna keep hurting you. But if you show them that it's they're not messing around with you, like it's not hurting you, they'll stop. <laughs> It is hard if you make it hard. If you procrastinate, that's a big thing. Do not procrastinate, okay? I procrastinated my whole freshman year. And it didn't do me any good. If the teachers tell you a week in advance, a month in advance, do it then, okay? Because if you do it then, then you will have so much time for yourself to spend with family, anything, okay? <laughs> if you get lost just go up to a teacher or to someone that is near you and ask them where the class that you are looking for is at any teacher that is around will help you believe me they will help you and if they don't go find someone else that can help you find a senior a junior a sophomore don't be afraid to talk to anyone else don't be afraid and if you don't get to your classes on time it's also okay the teacher should understand that y'all are incoming freshmen and y'all don't know so much about the school um, so they will understand hopefully and if they don't well just go talk to your principal or your counselor I really don't know the answer to this I am sorry but I recommend you don't because think about it you have three years of high school left after your freshman year and your senior boyfriend is already gonna leave okay and you're not gonna spend that much time with him unless you know y'all hang out and stuff but it's not worth it dating a senior but if you do date a senior it's you okay age doesn't matter um, grade level certainly does not matter it's actually up to you okay don't listen to anyone um but if the senior is making you do things that you don't want to do just don't date him or her um i think that's why they say don't date a senior because they make you you know do things you don't want to do but yeah just i recommend you stay out of it but if you do go into it then that's you just make sure he doesn't make you do anything bad and make sure you make yourself happy my advice to any incoming early college freshman student don't procrastinate because not only are you doing high school classes but you're doing college classes as well yeah you're High school teachers can sometimes slide with it, be like, okay, you know, just turn it in tomorrow, right? But your college teacher is not going to do that. Um, they have a certain due date, and that due date is like it. Like, that's the, all the time you have. If they tell you, you know, this is due in a week, do it in that week. Don't be scared. You are very smart, and you can do this. I remember I was scared because I was like, oh my god, college classes and high school classes, like, am I even going to have any time for myself? Am I even going to be able to do it? You will be able to do it, okay? If you don't procrastinate and you use your time wisely, you know, okay, well, okay, I'm going to do my high school homework from this time to this time, and then from this time to this time, I'm going to do my college homework like you'll be fine if you pay attention in class even better you'll be more fine because you'll know what you're doing and you won't have to waste time to text your friends hey how do you do this you know i forgot or search up on youtube how to do this because you know like just pay attention you'll have time for yourself just not as much time as you would expect but you'll have time for yourself I don't know if you ever saw me, but during the weekends, I was there with my homework. You want to know why? Because I procrastinated. You're having the chance to graduate with an associate's degree, and you have to work hard. Your goal is graduating with your associate's degree, so do all you could to reach that goal. You'll have fun, believe me, you'll have fun. You'll make new friends, but yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> hard if you make it
it hard. But other than that, it's not hard. It's just, you gotta really pay attention in class so that you can do it and it won't be hard, okay? Pay attention, okay? Um, and your homework won't be hard. But guys and girls, use Quizlet pretty much. <laughs> nah, but if you're having problems, use Quizlet, text your friends. I recommend y'all make a group chat like in your each class. That'll be better. Um, but yeah, just use Quizlet, Google, uh, your friends, your parents, teachers, cousins, anyone. When you don't know something, you can ask them. It all depends on the teacher you get and what school you go to because maybe in your school it's like all rude teachers and maybe in your school it's like all the lit teachers, you know, but just grow a friendship with your teachers. Like, don't be that kid that just tries to act like a rebel. You know, gets the teacher mad. Don't be that type of kid because the rest of the class might not like you. But don't be that kid because, like, the teacher doesn't want to go through that. Just t talk to the teachers here and they'll be like, hey, miss, how you been? Hey, miss, how was your weekend? Just, you know, communicate. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>